All right. How long to tint four doors? We're using Pro Nano Ceramic. This is a Ford Maverick. So not a particularly difficult. I just genuinely am not sure. So I'll find out at the end of this video how long this took. <laughs> this isn't a competition for speed or anything, but we are gonna double cut these. We're gonna use a blade on everything. And we're just gonna kinda go around, see how long it takes. So the first thing that I did was I took one piece of film and I put it on regularly. So that means the liner is facing outwards and now I flipped the second pattern and it's opposite. So right now the tint side is facing me. So we're effectively cutting out mirrored patterns. This is gonna be the easiest thing that you can do uh, to speed up if all you do is, uh, it, well, if you don't use a plotter machine. Your hand cutting, double cutting is gonna speed you up a lot. Uh, sometimes these mirrors will push out of the way, just like that. That's helpful, because now you can get to your front edges just a little bit easier. So we're gonna make our first cut. And when I'm making these cuts, this is how much blade that I have out. Just a tiny bit for the first part. We're gonna loosen up the film. We're gonna slide it over. About a quarter of an inch. Sometimes a little bit farther. Then we're gonna make this left cut. I'm making it right inside this space right here. Again, just a little bit of blade. I also don't cut right at the very top here. I go down a bunch of in uh, go down about an inch because I don't want to cram film up there. I just want to get enough information off that cut. And then we're sliding it down. We're gonna go down about a half inch or so. The farther you make your pattern wide and long, the harder it's gonna be to tuck into the seals. So keep that in mind. Ooh, these are low seals. Look at that. I got about a half inch before I even get down to the seal there. So, what does that mean? It means we could afford to bring this down even a little lower. Now on Fords, I don't ever worry about them peeling if I don't tuck into the seal, but we'll bring that down a little bit farther. That way we can hit that seal. So now we need to roll this down a couple of inches. There we go. We're gonna grab the top edge knife. We're gonna put the other knife away. One thing to note is the rounded corner right there. It's not gonna mess up my top cut, but we need to remember that it's there. When we round these corners, they don't just go flush into the sides. So if we leave that overlap, our tints has the potential to peel. It's just not a good thing to do. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it over to board. We're gonna round some corners. So to round, always draw straight lines and then round the difference. We wanna go just a little bit more on that. But you just need to take the sharp little corners off of it is all you need to do. So on your bigger ones, see we got a lot of space here. On your bigger ones, continue that top edge cut go straight and then you got this right in here so you can either guesstimate it or take a tool look there's a straight line there we're gonna follow that and then we're gonna round our difference it was a little bit wonky so we're gonna trim the rest of that off perfect looking good so same thing for these corners right here the little Ones at the bottom are small. Here, we have a lot more space in between there and there. So you can use a card, you can grab a ruler, you can do this right on the car, however you wanna get it. Just make sure that you do a nice straight cut following that line, and then we can round the difference here. Now you gotta remember on this one, remember how rounded it was? 
So I'm going to do a guesstimate and I'm going to line it back up on the car and we're going to see how that matches up. If I need to round it a little bit more, I will. You can always take extra film off, but you can't put any film back on. So lining that up. There we go. Yeah. Scoot that up a little bit farther. Yeah, that should be pretty good right there. Nice. So we're gonna split these apart now. Spray. Peel these patterns away from each other. And so this one's gonna go over to the driver's side and that one's gonna stay on the passenger side. Uh, I've been asked why I don't shrink them together. It might be the way that I just layer these on top of each other. Sometimes you'll hear popping sounds, um, but you, you effectively could. I just, for whatever reason, I'm so used to just individually cut, shrinking them that I always seem to just keep doing it, but you could shrink them together rather than shrinking them separate. Cool. So we got some patterns. Does this look good? I'm trying to check camera. I don't think camera's gonna let me check. All right, we're immediately gonna go to the back. Roll out some film. Film is faced straight down on the window. Liner is facing me. So this is as if I was cutting to install it. And then we flip the roll around. So now the tint is facing me. So then this top pattern is gonna go over to the other side. Main reason I do this is just for convenience. I don't like having to separate my patterns um, in an annoying, awkward way. So this is so I can just pull it up, throw that one on the other side. Now there's gonna be some funny cuts with this rear door here. I'll show you. I was looking at it earlier. It rolls down in kind of a funny way. So we're gonna have to do a little bit to compensate for it. Little bit of blade out after a few cuts though. Take that right there and then we're gonna snap it. Boom, right like that. Now we got a sharp point. <sighs> About an inch down from the top here. Poke that in. Cut, tear away. Release, drag it back over. And then for this part, so it does it really subtly, but it goes up this way and then it starts going up that way. So this is gonna be effectively most of my side edge right here. Probably a little up from there, but I'll show you exactly why I'm gonna kind of stop that ahead of time. And we're gonna roll this down, right about there. The edge here, pops out of my side seal, but it does it in like a weird way. I don't know why, it's like a truck thing, but a lot of them do this. So when we roll this down, this window has like an enormous amount of weeble wobble. So, if I look at this window, let me get this film up here, watch. See that, see how much that goes back and forth right there? It actually, like the lower you roll it, then you can all of a sudden see like about that much of the side edge of your film. So we're gonna cut things to compensate for that. Starting with just cutting what we can on the top edge. Let's take a chunk, cause I use this to cut the top edge of the front window. So let's chop off a little section there. We're gonna poke this in. get there, ride that off. See, this is like far more rounded off. So if I keep rolling this down, right about there. See, I don't see any edge, but if I pull it back here, look at that. Look at, look at how much edge is there, that's crazy. 
So I'm gonna sneak my blade down here, and I'm gonna cut this up. I'd say like if you miss that, you know, there's a there's a chance that a customer is gonna notice something like that. Um, it's relatively unprofessional, but most people have their windows all the way up or all the way down, not necessarily sitting in between there. Uh, and you don't even see it while it's rolled down. You see it when it rolls back up. So we'll cut that and look at this giant edge. How do we take care of that? Well, let's take care of the rest of it and we'll get back to it. Let's round some corners. There's one. There's two. And then for this stuff here, again, we got this nice straight edge. So you're just following that. Cut that off. And then for this bit, round it off. Cause that top corner has somewhat of a round to it. Straighten it out a little bit more. Should be good. And we'll match it up. And then for this bit right here, intersecting lines. You ever learn this in like grade school? Intersecting lines in math. Let's just see where that goes. Right about there. That's already like a huge bit of film right there. And then for the second part, we can take intersecting line the other way. Cut off the second half of our film, right like that. We're gonna smooth out this very tip of the corner, go a little bit farther, right? It's looking good. And then for here, we're just gonna make these two kind of conjoin right there. Let's go a little bit farther. So we get that little hump. Nice. So we'll see how this lines up. Should be pretty close. A little bit overlap right there, so I'm gonna take that, see this little bump? I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit more. I'm gonna get this as close as I can. Da -da -da -da. Look at that, that lines up really good. And then this just goes straight down there. And then, so it's not gonna actually fall off the edge of the window and everything else is also right down here. So these edges don't necessarily have to be perfect because as soon as you roll the window down, it starts dropping into the lower area. Roll this back up. But that's how you're gonna take care of some of those funky rear door cuts. You're always looking for like, the window will go either straight or it'll go in this direction. And as soon as it starts like cocking back the other direction, that becomes part of your top edge. So you need to treat it a little bit differently. But if you draw a bunch of straight lines, I've always been able to figure out those cuts pretty easily that way. So let's take this over to the other side. Line this up on the glass. Oh, and I didn't even look at this rear edge right here. See how this seal kind of curves up? I'm gonna look at the inside of my window. It does kind of what I thought it did. Seal goes straight across, door paneling raises up. So if I curve this up with this and I didn't tuck far enough in, I'd see a gap here. So I just left it straight. Now we're gonna shrink. Okay, um, I typically snap shrink everything. And uh, I'm gonna show you how we teach shrinking at the class. So this is gonna be kind of a double snap method. There probably isn't even gonna be very much to shrink on, you know, it's a relatively flat truck window. All right, shrinking card. So I got some little fingers at the bottom. Just gonna kind of knock these down, see if anything pops up. No, nothing really pops up. This is now a bad <laughs> example. <laughs> Annoying. Okay, so I don't have any fingers popping up at the bottom, but if I were to snap shrink it, I definitely would shrink it a little bit. 
might be able to get away with not shrinking this at all, probably. But wet the whole window, lay the pattern back on so it'll freely walk around, go towards the top and really push that film down, kind of cram it towards the center. And hopefully you're gonna get at least a couple of fingers to pop off. So like, they're there. I just wanna knock out some of the water and then they're really gonna start to shrink. Okay, there we go. So we got a finger there. We got a finger there. Always keep in mind, even if you don't say fingers, it's a lot of surface area to not have anything pop up. So you generally need to shrink a little bit. So we're gonna shrink all those fingers, like little whack-a-mole, see how close I got the heat gun to it, just going across, keeping my heat moving. And now that we have those shrunk, we're gonna lift it, we're gonna drop it back down, we're gonna tack this side, tack that, and you have this air sitting kind of in the middle. So you take that heat gun and you smoke over where you just shrunk and tighten these areas up a little bit farther and then that's gonna be effectively double snap. I don't have to touch it from here. See those little wavy spots? That's fine. The way to check to see if you shrunk it enough spray underneath it and then you'd sweep it out there you go that lays flat that looks good so what I'm kind of looking for is like this see how it kind of like hangs off the glass like that that's if I were to like snap shrink it so snap shrinking pull it off the window a little bit get this loose material heat gun right towards the bottom tighten that up and then it's effectively gonna do the exact same thing, but it's way quicker. So that's the, that's basically like the no fault way to do it. It's just real straightforward. You can't really mess that way up. This way is gonna take some guesstimating, but you effectively are doing the exact same thing. That's why I really like the snap shrink method. But during the classes, you know, you squeegee everything out. Hey, I don't have fingers. I tried to shrink it, nothing popped up. You really have to force some stuff to pop up to ensure that you're not gonna have anything pop up on the inside. Because with a door window, it's not as clear cut as a back window. You have all this excess film that's just like hanging over the top. So if you were able to get all your film on the glass, that's where you're really gonna see if a finger's gonna pop up. Snap, 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 snap. There you go. So these are all shrunk, ready to install, and that brings us to the inside. So let's get some panel cover here. These are the newer covers with a wider tape. Even then, I still wanna make this more aggressive than what it is. It does a pretty good job of sticking to most panels. But it's the same type of tape as we have in the seals right now. So this is seal guard tape and seals. This is the same tape here on the covers. And then it grips the door panels pretty well. And we can cover that nice and quickly without much fuss. All right, razor blade. Um, and then we have some towels. These are pretty solid microfiber ones. They leave uh, like no lint behind, which I really like. And they seem to soak up a little bit more water. I was using the Costco ones forever. And Costco ones are great bang for the buck. They just don't soak up as much water. I'm gonna take a razor blade, blade off this window. It's a brand new or newish truck. Just gonna make sure that's, it's kind of like in between where I feel like I might need a stool just like all the way up, because I'm like right in between here. So either a blade or scrubby is gonna do pretty good. I always opt for a blade. Reason being is I can feel if there's any glue. Where with a scrub pad, sometimes you brush over glue without ever removing it. And you feel like it's clean until, uh, until you try to tin it. And then that's where you see that. Okay, so that's all wiped off. 
Then we're gonna squeegee it top to bottom using the Blue Max blade, which is a regular handle. Always make sure your window is totally dry. That means you squeegeed everything successfully. So looking for one card, and then we're gonna take a tri edge and sweep the sides. Swipe, and then I'm gonna leave some water in there, flush out the sides, cover the rest. Now you can install the pattern. Da -da -da -da. Pick it up right along where that liner is. Take your fingertips, kind of go there. See that? Then you're going to worry about the tall side first. Tall side goes on. Let the short side just hang loose. See, it's pretty like controlled too. And we're going to roll up the tint portion lightly, press it up against the glass. That's how you can slide this into the side seal without much trouble. There we go. Then we're gonna loosen up the film a little bit, get it to kind of buckle, press this up against the side, and do the same thing in the other direction, and pull it. Now we're gonna wiggle it a little back and forth until we get as close to the top without going over. It's like Price is Right. Except you can see the answer. Little tap tap. So we get that all lined up. Cool. That corner looks nice. Could go a little farther that way. Just a bit. Very nice. Make sure you don't go over. Cool. Spray. I'm gonna start squeegeeing this off. Oops, we pushed that way too high. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Get that nice and close. I'll spend a little bit more time doing this. Oh, it's really gripping, huh? There we go. Sometimes it'll do that. So one thing that I really fault against Pro Nano is it's got an extra grippy adhesive, so use more soap. Give it a couple taps. Sometimes that's what it takes to really get it to loosen up. But it very much depends on the window that you install it on. Some slide very easily, some just stick a little bit more. Cool. Make sure all the air is pressed out. And then give it a little wiggle test. It's obviously stuck. Now I can roll this up. Car's off. There we go. Roll that up. Tuck one side in, shank. Shank on this one, pull back that seal. But we're pretty, even though we dragged it down quite a bit, we don't have very much to tuck in. I like it that way though. There we go. Always squeegee from the center out. Make sure your cards are clean. One thing I'll use too. There we go, that's all good. One thing I like to use too is for this lettering. This little fusion squeegee. It's really soft and it's like the perfect size here. If you do some firm passes along the lettering, it gets so much more air out. It really makes it like vacuum down to that lettering to where it looks almost completely black. It'll still silver out, 
but it looks really, really good. So, now we're gonna wipe this off. We still gotta pull the tape, check the inside. That's looking great though. Nice. One tape, pull two tapes. Honestly, rubber seals, newer vehicle, not much dirt. Tape on the side seal is not gonna do much. It's mostly habit on something like this. Wipe all that off and pick up these straps. And then I'm sure I'm gonna get asked, hey, what about folds on the side? So something like this, little fold here, right? It's hard to see on camera because it's so faint. It's already gone there. On this side, press it out. I got a little finger right there. I'm gonna use some heat. I'm gonna get that to get out. And then I got a little there. A little air there. So I just kind of press those out and I'll let them sit. I'll worry about the rest of the car. Give it a good chance to dry and then I'll come back to it. But moving right on here. Door panel cover. I could have done this ahead of time, but this doesn't take long. So a whole thing, I guess minus tape seal. Start to finish, why not? Spray the window. Windows rolled up. Razor blade the bottom half of it. This is where it's gonna be really beneficial for you guys to keep drilling. Go through the same steps over and over again. Wherever you get hung up, repeat it over and over. Roll that window down. Now remember, that side edge. So if I, see how much wiggle this has? That's crazy. Ooh, I should make sure that corner is okay. Ooh, that's gonna overlap. See that? So we actually have to trim that off a little bit farther. So much wiggle wiggle on this door. A little bit more, probably just a hair more. That's gonna be much, much better right there. And then this, that's gonna line up there. Perfect. But yeah, doors, they can wiggle and they'll kind of shift down in one direction and shift back up in the other way. So sometimes you won't even see that gap until you roll the window back up. But it gets into, I'd say, more minor stuff that you don't have to worry about on every car. Like on most cars, you're not gonna see that. But every once in a while, it's gonna be especially bad. I've actually never had a customer complain if I was short and I probably didn't even realize if I was short. So, when I notice it, I'll do whatever I can to like address it, but I wouldn't let it ruin my day. This. Peeler pattern. Spray off the window, pick up. Right there in the center. We're gonna start with one side first, doesn't matter which side. Slide that into my side seal, go back over, get the film to kind of like buckle back a little bit. And slide it into that seal. Line up that corner, line up your top edge, nice and close. Ooh, ooh, that looks so nice. Sweet. Look at, look at how close that gets. You get that corner nice and close, you know the rest of it is just gonna follow it. Nice. Lock those in place, roll our window up. Continue, rinse. Pull up my liner, spray, tuck. Let's 
squeegee. Start from the center. Work your way out. Swipe. Swipe. Lettering. Such a funny little squeegee. Love that thing. Now we're gonna pull the tape. Ooh, it was grippy. Oh my gosh. There we go. Check over your scraps. Wipe off the window. So like I said, I'm not really trying to speed through this. I'm just trying to show all the steps. Be as clear as I can. If you have comments, leave them below. Uh, but that's two, and same thing. Little folds on the side, I'm gonna leave them, and we're gonna touch them up at the end. Uh, but we got two more windows to go. Hopefully, hopefully everything's good on camera. Okay, so let's start with the front here. Door panel cover. down. Lovely. Ooh, we need another blade. We threw ours around. Let's grab that. Start with the bottom here. Scrapey scrape. And I'm mainly looking for like the dealer stickers. I didn't expect there to be much stuck to this window. Always kind of give it like a visual inspection before you start doing anything. But, a lot of windows, you just get used to the way that they clean up. Towel, wipe off that top edge. See, a little dirt there. Perfect. Squeegee, top to bottom. The window's nice and dry. Grab a card. Squeegee this side off. Squeegee that side off. Flush some water, flush the sides. With the deeper ones, I'll pull it back and just keep the little water back there. Take your pattern and we're gonna peel it. Grab it where that liner is, just lift it right in that center point. That helps balance it. Put it on your fingertips. Start with one side. Get that up on the glass. Light pressure. Really just let it float, then it'll slide without hopefully tacking up. That's kind of what I ran into the first time. Pushed a little too hard, then it doesn't float anymore. We want it to float and then we tack it down, and then it's a pressure sensitive adhesive. So that's what causes it to grab onto the glass. Put that nice and close. Perfect. I really should get a stool. Another little baby truck. It's kind of like right in between. So it's not quite standing height, but it's not quite sitting height either. So tack those down, give it a wiggle test, good. Roll that up. Take your liner out, rinse it down. One corner, two corners. 
then that bulk kind of lift that up, get a little air tunnel there. Da -da -da -da. I waste way less time when I record. <laughs> I really do. Oops. It's getting stuck right there. There we go. Squeegee. Porter Pro. Tape. Throw this out. Let's grab another one. It's getting a little wet. Uh, there. Let's use this one. Yep. A couple little spots. So just on the edges is what I mean by spots. So I'd hit those with some heat. Same thing for here. Anywhere I might see a little fold. That's where you're gonna hit with heat. Jam it out. Makes it sound like I'm being rough. <laughs> you just like press out the air is all you need to do. Uh, oh, door panel cover's there. Let's grab another roll. That's what's there on hand. Yeah, I like these door covers. I still want to make them stronger. It's kind of a, a guessing game though. Because every door panel is different. Some stick really well, some don't stick super great at all. Just depends on the coating that they have on the panel. I threw my razor blade. I thought it was going to land on here. And I probably just threw it away. So I'm going to grab another one. We got one more door. Ooh, top corner. Remember that? Remember this guy? Let's fix that little guy. So we're going to round this a little bit farther. go. This should be a little more. Yeah, a little more smooth. Ta-da! Alright. Let's roll this down. Oh wait. Razor. Now we can roll it down. Wait. Spray. Throw the rate. Are we gonna make it? Ooh. I got lucky there. Pick that up. Layer this on the inside. Let it float. Lightly press into the right side here. Nice. Then for the left side, get the film to buckle a little bit. I'll pull back until it does that. And then push back in the other direction. A little more. Ooh, ooh. No, don't, don't, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. There we go. Gently. Lovely. Doing good. Roll this up.
Uh-oh. Getting a little ahead of myself. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then slide it. You always need to make sure it lays flat. Because if you have any buckles in it, that's where you get all those ripples. And you end up fighting the sides. You don't want to fight the sides. Squeeze you from the center. Push this towards the sides. See when you have more film bunch up, that's a bad thing. It's not like this pattern's ruined. I'm just saying, just be careful. Because if it doesn't all squeegee nicely, what'll happen is it'll fold on itself. It'll pick a spot in the seal, it'll fold. So, gently take your time with it. And then last, but not least, little quarter pro. Get that lettering. Swipe. Should be good. We're gonna pull the tape. Pull the tape. It was really stuck last time. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Wipe this down. Okay. So, good. We're all set. Minus our little touch-ups. So, I will always let those sit a little bit longer. But, let's say you just hopped in two front windows. Remember, we did that one just a little bit ago. So, if we come over to the other side, window's going to be a little bit more dried out on this side. And... I will put the heat up on it. I will throw my card on the floor. I'll pick it back up. So this spot right here, probably gonna be kinda hard to see. You really have to always angle your head, bouncing the light until you can see it. But they're typically gonna be there a little bit. But you're gonna warm that space up. Notice how I have the heat gun about six inches away or so. Never overheat this plastic. The glass will take the heat, but it just takes time for that heat to pass through. So the glass will hold the heat for longer. You can put the heat gun kind of close, take it away, kind of close. And what you're doing is you're just rapidly accelerating how fast it's gonna dry. So these are all set. And I'll do that with every door on the car um, until everything's all pressed out. But since I have other stuff to do, like I still have the back window, windshield's done, but I have the back window to do. So I'm gonna let these sit a little bit longer, but you can throw some heat on them, let them dry, come back to them, throw a little extra heat, and then just make sure you take care of them. But they're wedged into the seal here. So pressing any air out right on the edges is always a simple, quick thing to do. You're not gonna have any complaints because they are completely gone. So that's all the doors. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.